In this problem, we're asked, does the function satisfy the hypotheses of the mean value theorem on the given interval? So we're given this function, f of x equals x cubed plus x minus 1, we have the interval 0 to 2. So let's look at this first part and determine what's the answer. So we know that uh, a polynomial function is continuous and differentiable uh, from minus infinity to infinity. So this is 0 to 2, so it's obviously going to work. So we already know right off the bat that this is going to be the answer, and that's just something you should memorize. Um, well, let's just look at the other options to see why they're wrong. So, no f is continuous, not differentiable, so that's not true because uh, it's going to be differentiable because it's a polynomial. And then, no, so we know it's continuous because it's a polynomial, not enough information, that's not true. And then, it does, so it does matter. So, in order for something to satisfy the mean value theorem, it has to be continuous on the closed interval from A to B and then differentiable on the open interval from A to B. So. That's not it. So this is going to be uh, the answer to the first part. But let's look at the second one. So if it satisfies the hypotheses, find all numbers C that satisfy the conclusion of the mean value theorem. So how do we do this? What we want to do is use this formula. f of b minus f of a uh, over b minus a. So we're going to solve this. This, when our, what we solve for this, we're going to set equal to the derivative of this function. Then the value that we get uh, for x when we solve it is going to be our answer. So let's just solve this first, though. So f of b, what's f of b? So if we say that um, b is going to be 2 and then a is 0, so we got to find f of 2. So it's going to be 2 cubed plus 2 minus 1. So 2 cubed is 8 plus 2 is going to be 10. 10 minus 1 is going to be 9. So this is going to be equal to 9 minus... So let's find f of a. So a is 0, so we just got to plug in 0. So 0 cubed plus 0 minus 1 is just minus 1. So we're minusing negative 1, so it's just the same as adding 1. We're going to get 10, and then on the bottom we have b, which we know is 2. So 2 minus a, which is 0. So 2 minus 0 is 2. So we have 10 over 2, that equals 5. Now that we got 5, let's look at our function, and we're going to set it equal to the derivative. So let's just first write out our function. So x cubed plus x minus 1. Let's find the derivative, so f prime of x. So the derivative of x cubed, we move the 3 down. And we subtract 1 from this, so it's going to become 3x squared. The derivative of just x is just going to be 1. And then the derivative of minus 1 is 0. We don't need to write that. So what we want to do is take this and set it equal to the value we just found, so 5. So now let's just solve for x, and then x is basically going to be our answer, so c. So if we minus 1 from both sides, we'll get 3x squared is equal to 4. Then we divide by 3. So we're going to get x squared is equal to 4 over 3. Now we can square root both sides. That will give us x equals the square root of 4 over 3. So this right here is going to be the answer. So c is going to be equal to this, so we have c equals the square root of 4 over 3. These are going to be the answers to this question.